Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm tackling a subscriber request. How do you smooth 3D prints? And while there's a lot of ways to do it, everything from brush on epoxies to UV reactive resin, my version's a little bit different. Let me explain. So you've got a 3D print and you need to remove or at least minimize the layer lines. There's a lot of different ways to tackle this task, from epoxies and resins to spot putties like this one. And while I've had varying degrees of success with all of them, a new method that I've come to prefer takes the tried and true spot putty and a bit of acetone to make a hybrid filler that I think works best. To get started, I'm going to squeeze a bit of the spot putty into a paper cup, followed by a few splashes of acetone. You're looking to create a bit of a slurry that can then be brushed onto your printed part. The beauty of this method is that because it's a hybrid, you get the benefits of a brush on solution with the fast drying qualities of a spot putty. Plus, because it's not a two-part product like epoxy and doesn't require UV light like resin, you never run the risk of it not setting up or taking hours to cure. Once the spot putty has fully dissolved into the acetone, but is thick enough to coat the inside wall of the cup, you can just brush it onto your 3D print following the layer lines to encourage it to settle into the low spots. You'll want to use a throwaway brush for this, preferably one that isn't losing all of its bristles like mine is. Because the spot putty dries so quickly and the acetone flashes off just as fast, you can apply additional coats as needed in a pretty short amount of time. Now if your print has some larger voids that need to be filled, I would default back to straight spot putty right from the tube. But to help speed up the sanding time, you can apply some acetone to a shop towel and use it to smooth out the chunkier areas, which should cut down on the amount of sanding you'll need to do later. Once the spot putty is dried, it's time to take some sandpaper and start to smooth out the surface. I would typically do this in a tray of water to keep the dust to a minimum. So if you want to wet sand, be sure to get sandpaper designed for that use. A quick snap of my finger, and the first pass of sanding is done. In all seriousness, it probably took less than 10 minutes to smooth this part, because the spot putty was able to fill in the small voids between print lines as a result of being thinned out with the acetone, which made it much easier to level out with sandpaper. The next step is to use a bit of automotive filler primer to give it a uniform color and to fill in any small hairline defects that you may not be able to see. The filler primer goes on like a thick spray paint, and can be sanded to your desired finish. 
I like to lay down a coat of filler primer, let it dry for an hour or until it's dry to the touch, sand it down and repeat until I'm happy with the part. Usually two to three passes, but it completely depends on the complexity of your printed part and what your print layer height is, since it can vary widely. In short, there's a lot of sanding in your future, but if you're patient, you can end up with something like this. There may still be a few areas to address, but the overall look of this helmet is as smooth as smooth can be, or at least as smooth as I'm willing to make it. Now, while the use of spot putty isn't anything new for filling 3D print lines, the addition of acetone makes it a bit more like a brush on epoxy or UV reactive resin, but without the potential for cure inhibition that can be so prevalent in products like those. At any rate, I hope you found this technique helpful. If it was, leave me a comment down below, give this video a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, go make something.